uh, hi everyone so here we can see our restaurant apis are running what we did is we wrote the restaurant controller restaurant menu controller and the restaurant service restaurant menu service and we updated the details based on the entity and whenever you are updating the entity make sure you are running npm run db sync so that will also populate the same changes in your database okay so after like what all apis we have we have restaurant apis and restaurant menu apis and we are running on 4000 port so you can also see those changes here on this swagger doc right here we can get all the restaurant create restaurant update get particular restaurant by id and delete right all these operations we can test but we just want to make sure that our apis are running so apis are running up and running and here we can actually create something right so let's say if i wanted to create test website is test.com here for the website you can also add the validation that is url you are not providing any uh, string i mean it should be a string with the valid http url and the address object okay now let's see if i create this so here i'm creating a restaurant the restaurant is created you can also get this by get all restaurant right so we are able to get the restaurant with address and the restaurant menu restaurant menu we haven't created but we can also create a restaurant menu by just passing this id i'm just testing this apis for the first time so there may be ups and downs we will try to fix them so this restaurant we can actually create a menu for this restaurant so you can see uh, we are passing this restaurant id and we are this is the menu we are going to create menu media type uh, breakfast cuisine type indian let's see cuisine type must be a valid enum value right okay so valid cuisine type should not be empty we have to look at this cuisine type so we have to go to the dto's We have to make sure cuisine type is let's say Indian. This is the key or this is the value for this. Let's try to see where we are using this in the, the restaurant item by ID. Okay, this is cuisine type is enum. Okay, this is is in type and this is of type meal type is of type meal type okay if we look at this this is passing we are only having the problem with the cuisine type so that may be due to the naming convention we are following because the meal type is passing this is required true name meal type name will type enum and required to that is needed okay and whenever we are changing it is getting auto restarted is not empty is enum okay that should be of type enum but this should be fine if i write it like this because the, all the properties i want to have something like this meal type and cuisine type let's see okay so this is about the dto now we should be able to create it now there are a few more things which we need to take care of. like if i want to create the restaurant with the same name here we have the post apis if i try to create it with the same name then i will see an error let's see if our apis are running so we have to add a unique because name is unique in our database so it will throw an error so before persisting the value of name we should always make sure that the we are not creating the new restaurant with the same name we can just do simply update if name is already exist and you are doing the create again and what you need to do is you check the the name and you return the same payload with the updating the fields whatever you are passing okay so for that we can do go into the restaurant controller and go to the restaurant service here we have the create method before creating the restaurant 
we can we can create the address so before that we should just do const existing rent this will do await this dot or do we have restaurant repo dot find find one right we because we want to find based on the name where name is same as whatever the name we are passing data dot name if we see there is already existing restaurant and we will use it for rest of our operation if we have existing restaurant then we don't need to create this one but otherwise we are doing it from the scratch this is when you don't have restaurant already there so we will put it here this is what the existing restaurant we have so we don't need to create it we will just use existing restaurant object and we will do the updates whatever we have like about us sorry existing restaurant we will just update the fields okay and then we will pass the existing restaurant correct if there is a new address right if there is a new address then we will just create that address otherwise it will be just a simple update we don't need to update it so update i mean creating of new address will be there only if you are creating it as a scratch from new one otherwise we will just not create the address and we will return the existing restaurant So here we are getting the restaurant and we will return it. Simple. I mean we can simplify it and we can do a little bit cleanup. But this is how it is going to work, right? We just check by name if it is there, update it. If it is not there, create it, create the address, create the restaurant. Okay. And whenever we are doing get, you see we are also able to populate the address and the restaurant menu. How? Or how that is happening? So there is a relations, is a keyword restaurant repo dot find find all the restaurant and also populate the relationship of the restaurant with the address and with the restaurant menu that's why it will be able to give you the address object and restaurant restaurant menu we don't have but address we have so we should be able to fetch that so this relation is very important similarly there are other type of rm queries find find one find by ids right delete or uh, save create all these methods are there Okay, now let's wait for this to come up and then we will test all the APIs. So what we can do now is we are able to create the restaurant, we are able to update it, we are able to delete it and we are able to create a menu and once we get a particular restaurant we are able to see the address of the restaurant, we are able to see the, uh, the menu of the restaurant and next video what we will do is once this is done we will check the database and now we will move to the next service. What I want is a basic setup, right? So we can test all these scenarios. Now this is started. So we can actually do the get command. Get will give us all the, the restaurant we have in the system. Here we can actually create a new one. So test, test is something which already exists, right? So it didn't create a new one. But earlier you might see a 500 error is coming. Okay, we can actually try to create a menu also. There is some problem with the enum type. Meal type must be a valid enum value. Okay, so what I will do is I will check the documentation on the enum type. How we can provide. I mean we can also populate the details for the enum type. So that because enum type here we are providing the direct value Indian and breakfast. But still it is complaining should not be empty. Okay, it should be let's say. Type and okay, let me reload this. That will give me the updated spec. Okay, first let me get the restaurant. This is restaurant ID. I have and now I'm creating the menu for this restaurant. Try it out. 
or ride me type i'm not sure why this is coming as a camel case we need to fix this i mean just like the details for the enums that is not correctly written here but yeah we have looks like we have created it uh, and this is successful now if i try to do the get then i should be able to populate the restaurant menu also for this yes we have you can see i'm able to populate the restaurant menu so you can create a multiple multiple menu items right i think name is not unique here so you should be able to create as many as you want and here if i do it should be an array so here we have here i have three uh, menu items for this restaurant so it's like we are halfway done more than halfway we are 80 percent done with the apis next video i will just uh, what i can do is i will clean up on these enums and the remaining things and then we'll start exploring graphql how now we can use the graphql as api gateway which will talk to the gatekeeper service to validate the authentication token here you can see authorize but we are not consuming this authorized because we are expecting that whoever is hitting this api is already authorized user and only one particular service can talk to this which is api gateway right no one else you can't directly expose it and if you want to access it you need to pass the authorized token which which should be valid okay uh, thanks everyone